skaters on the ice getting ready for the free dance, including the Canadian team. Shailene Bourne and Victor Kratz in third place right now. They finished fourth at the Winter Olympics. And the French team, Marina Anacina and Gwendal Pezra in second place here. They captured the bronze medal right ahead of the Canadians. Now, these two teams were at the center of a major controversy in Nagano. Allegations of judges conspiring to predetermine results and arguments that the results are always much too predictable in this sport. Now, the issue isn't a new one, but now it's become the main topic of discussion in ice dancing. Brent Musburger takes a closer look. Well, Terry Beauty and Grace have been replaced with controversy. Ice dancing in Nagano turned ugly and shocking when world bronze medalist Canada's born and Kratz were told by a reporter five days before the games began they would place fifth in one of the phases. Many times you dismiss these things because sometimes they're just rumors just to psych you out or uh, to distract you. And I think, uh, you know, I just, I told Natalia and, and, you know, I downplayed the situation. I mean, you can't start a competition saying, hey, it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to end up fourth or fifth. Rumors turned into facts when after the first compulsory dance, they were in fifth place. I think I was just stunned, you know, inside. It just didn't seem real. It didn't seem like it was happening. But it did happen. And whether the medals handed out were deserved or not, this is a case about predetermined results. This is not about Born and Kratz from Canada. This is about um, an American team, a team from Belarus. This is about the teams who didn't who weren't favored on the panel, who didn't have judges on the panel, who weren't politically connected. This is about skaters not having a fair chance. In the first compulsory dance, it appeared that five judges worked together to benefit their skaters by voting almost identically for these six couples. The French were ranked third by the block, pretty much in line with the other judges. With the number three Russians, you can see the block start to differ. The block ranked the Canadians fifth, while the other judges scored them higher. The Italian couple got a majority of sixth place ordinals, while the Americans lost their final chance for the top five when they were ranked seventh by the block. And the Ukrainians were given the most obvious edge. A block of judges was controlling the panel. A block of five, no matter what happened, you knew what the outcome was going to be. And so that's why I used the word, uh, the outcome was predetermined. Each one of those judges, those five judges, had something to gain from, from working together. The Russians got the t three in the top five. The French got the medal. The, um, um, the Italian did far better than they ever thought they were going to do. And then when they f figured out they could beat the Americans, they got in the, into the... The Ukrainian got marked up about seven places higher than they probably should have been. And the, the Czech is also on the, on the downslide and got marked higher than they should have been. So you have five, cu five countries, unfortunately, that could benefit and did. <laughs> to blame, you must have proof. I can assure you there were no discussions or meetings that took place about this. The marks were real and objective to what the judges saw. Denials came also from the Olympic head referee, Wolfgang Kuntz. His role? Ensure that judges and skaters follow the rules. There's an accusation, but there's no proof at all. Kuntz closed the matter. Skaters and judges were instead reminded of rules not to criticize results. How can you say there's a block judging if the, the placements from one dance to the other, even from, from all the judges, changed? I find that an absolutely phony statistic because it was so well choreographed. Steve Milton has covered figure skating for 20 years. He'd never seen anything like this. We knew which four judges were going to vote together and that there would be a fifth judge. In this case, it turned out to be the Ukrainian, who might be the sacrificial lamb. In other words, would vote with that block for the first dance and then against them the rest of the way so that it looked like these people know how to use the rules. Canadians actually showed some movement. And they were fifth in the first dance, fourth in the second dance, fourth in the third dance, and third in the free dance, which gave the desired result that they would finish fourth overall. How is it even possible for judges to play such games? Dance is the most subjective discipline, while singles and pairs have jumps and spins to gauge a performance. What's really different about dance than in single skating is that skaters skate at their level. They don't try triple and quadruple jumps and things that they're taking a big risk on. Um, so they're not likely to make many mistakes. So you, you get this picture of, this, of the couple and, and that sort of determines where you're going to, where you think you're going to place them. And, um, 
And too often, I, I, what I see is that's the way it happens, even if that couple has a bad day. Here, favorites for gold, Krilova and Ovsianikov, earlier in the week had a bad moment of the compulsories and were still put in first place. Questionable judging has led the vice president of the International Olympic Committee to threaten dropping it from the games unless things change. While the International Skating Union does not admit wrongdoing, its president expects reforms. At a certain moment, there is their attack to the judges, you know. Now, somebody wants to expel the sport. So, is the sport wrong or are the judges wrong? In order to resolve, not 100%, because please forget that there will be a 100% solution to this problem. Figure skating will remain a subjective sport. And also, even if in the Congress, in this Congress in June, on the next one, there will be new rules, it will remain in the end of the judges. Well, it always does come down to the judges, but one reason that it's always more of an issue at the Olympic Games and the World Championships is that here at the Worlds, you have different panels of judges for different phases of the competition. At the Olympics, you only have one panel throughout the entire event. Dick, clearly something needs to be done. Specifically, what is the ISU doing to address this problem? Well, the International Skating Union already has two concrete proposals in place. The first is to have specific guidelines for deductions for falls. That way, there will be less of a subjective range for the judges to work mm -hmm. from. Now, at present, ISU dancers perform one free dance. Another proposal is to have them perform two different free dances in each season, making it more competitive. And there are still two other ideas that are being developed. The first is to include specific dance elements for the free dance that skaters must do. This helps both skaters and coaches know what's expected of them, and the judges will have specific elements to look for. Now, the second idea is to increase the percentage of the free dance. So if you have a great dance, there's much more chance that you can move up. Having said all of that, we'll have to wait and see if anything happens at all Let's in the coming on. weeks. The title and the free dance on the line when we return to Michelle's.